Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Endless Space 2. Today we're playing as Horatio. I don't have a particular strategy in mind, we're just going to go with whatever victory condition presents itself. Economics seems pretty strong, but we'll see what these dudes lend themselves to. I don't know a huge amount about the Horatio. I know what their sort of central story gimmick is, and I'm sure that the cinematic we're about to view will make that clear as well. Um, but I don't know a whole lot about their mechanics. We shall see. They only ever saw what was in the mirror. I always saw what was beyond. They saw deformity. I found beauty. They saw madness. I found genius. For the longest time, I have been the only one who sees what lies beyond the mirror. But soon, very soon, they will see it as well. Okay, that didn't make it super clear. Let's see about this thing. Back from the very brink, no man has traveled further, struggled more, and unraveled more of the mysteries of the universe than Horatio. At least, according to Horatio. Now with a great nation cast in his image, Horatio is ready to extend his vision to beautify the rest of the galaxy. Look in the mirror, Horatio, and you will always find the answers you see. Okay, that's also not 100% clear. So the basic idea here is that Horatio is a probably legitimately a genius uh, and very, very rich, and he figured out how to clone himself, basically. And our whole society is just clones of this dude. We are all Horatio. So that's <laughs> exciting. It's going to be something. Uh, so we are gene hunters. Plus 5% food consumption per spliced population. And we splice the genetic material of other races into ourselves. We take the best of them and make all Horatio better. Uh, splicing requires the sacrifice of some individuals. Uh, we have, we get to start with some Zvali, some science people. Plus one population slot on planets, minus 25% disapproval. Is that all disapproval, or is that just disapproval from something particular? I'm not sure. That might be like overcrowding, I don't know. Uh, double hero healing rate. Uh, expensive ships. Hard to make these ships. We get to start with the ability to colonize Mediterranean worlds and uh, have diplomacy with minor civs. Okay, what's our starting government? We start as a dictatorship. Rebellions start developing when a system is unhappy. Can we... how do we change that? We have to do a thing. I might want to swap to, like, Republic. I really like the laws provide better effects thing from Republic. Democracy comes with a bunch of free approval, which is nice. I don't know. It's not something we can really think about just yet. And we start with the Ecologist in power, which means that we can colonize any non-gas planet. However, any planet we don't have the proper tech for will have uh, approval penalties. No, sorry, FIDS penalties. Actual resource penalties. So let's, uh... Ooh, our scout ships start with four probes. Alright, let's do the thing we always do. Snap our first hero to... Scout ship and scout everything real fast. Alright, what have we discovered? This planet has Kessler Syndrome. There's a bunch of garbage in the atmosphere. We can solve that. Found some Jadonics. Okay, Jadonics deposits nice. Gives us extra industry. 
Uh, we failed one of our expeditions. We discovered Eden Incense, so that's cool. And our guy gained a level immediately, because this is a really good way to get XP in the early game. So what's our deal? As Horatio. Plus 20% deposit value on luxury resource deposits. So we're good at getting luxuries. We're good at producing food. Uh, I guess this guy makes the most sense as a governor. I'll be honest with you. The game seems to go a lot faster when you focus on uh, not really caring about combat. <laughs> so that may be the way we want to go. We probably want to head out toward the center. Try to stake our, uh, our claim on any contested land first. Alright, let's start with this. We'll get the... Uh... So, how does this work? The gene splicing interface. Okay, so if we splice these guys in, our main population will gain two science, one approval. And given that the Horatio main population is going to get super powerful, we probably want to actually try to splice all of our aliens away, right? Because we want the whole world to be, the whole galaxy, to just be Horatios, right? So it would take two population. The next time one of these is born, we just eat, a, eat both of them. I guess it slows down your growth a little bit. Oh, I should, yeah, let's do science. Let's make science happen. So, what do we have? We do not have any uh, strategic resources on our homeworld. So we probably want to pursue... I mean, going for additional science buildings at the beginning of the game just seems like a really good idea to me. Um, there's also something to be said for advanced scanners quickly. This allows us to colonize Savannah. What kind of worlds do we have, actually? Lava, arid, snow. Because remember, they have resource penalties until we have the right tech. We can pursue our economy really quickly, but I think um, I think getting some early science is probably the right way to go. Or... Man, I don't know. Wow, organic purity seems like a pretty powerful system improvement. Refills our system defense manpower really efficiently and gives a lot of food. Um, the Anything that has your faction's icon down here uh, has something about it that is specific to your your guys. So I need to try to look, at, look for those right away. To see if there's anything in particular that we should really be leaping for. Glorification of the Gorgeous. Okay, so I think this uh, this building, the building that's normally available here, I think is only plus five approval. So we have a slightly better version of that. It actually looks like there aren't that many Horatio-specific texts that are interesting. Yeah, I don't know. Let's go for let's go for a little bit of early science. We'll pick up another science building. Or we don't even have the most basic science building right now. Yeah, let's do this first. Or, wait a second. We also don't have the most basic industry building. Yeah, I think Xenobiology and Xenolinguistics are both really powerful. These, uh... Flat resource output buildings. Very strong when you don't have much to go off of. Yeah, that's, uh... That usually gets gets knocked out of us pretty quickly. Okay, hey, Kurha. I have good good memories of worlds called Kurha. So unfortunately, these worlds all kind of suck. I mean, this has a little bit of food. I guess we just start expanding as quickly as possible, though. Alright, I don't have any resources with which to speed this up. Well, 
Let's move the scout fleet over here. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find some cool stuff in the exploring the curiosities that'll help us out. It doesn't seem like the ecologist party law, the base law, is really that good. I guess it allows you to spread out very quickly at the beginning, but I question the value of this as the game goes on. Maybe you're not supposed to remain ecologist? Maybe that's not like a good, maybe it's just that that's not a good idea. We've discovered acid rain. Well, that, that's a bummer. A little bit of free science, I guess. This is subterranean. I mean, is one of these more likely to be loot? Because we should probably pursue one that has a high chance of being loot. We should also leave the atmospheric ones for later. No, nothing has a high chance of being loot. Alright, well, let's see what this is. Okay. I think titanium is the one we wanted more because the tech we want to research is a titanium tech. The three of us stood around that table, a spectacle for all Horatio to consume. Gorgeous, brilliant, and indistinguishable. The guards in attendance had one question only. Who was the original? I claimed to be, of course. Every bit as beautiful and as smart as either of the other two. That had to be the case, for we were the most perfect copies biological, psychological, developmental, that the most advanced cloning science of the galaxy could make. No scientific test existed that could tell us apart. Each one of the three of us, a microcosm of Horatio perfection. Yet only one was the real Horatio, Horatio Prime. I wondered what parents had brought that Horatio up, had developed that magnificent brain into what it was. And I wondered how Horatio managed to imprint that upbringing as if it was a technical issue, like replicating DNA. Can a thing from a test tube have daddy issues? We aligned ourselves with each other. Five and I, determined to avoid the fate of one, two, and three, they had died in the lab once Horatio Prime realized what we were thinking. Subtly, we knew who was who, and he gave me his support when I claimed to be Horatio, the original, Horatio Prime, the light. And so I was crowned emperor, the gorgeous leader of a gorgeous empire, and Prime was put in chains. But I know Five as well as he knows me, or Horatio himself. The minute he is out of my sight, he will scheme against me. As I, of course, will scheme against him. And as Horatio will scheme against both of us. Clones. They're so predictable. This is a weird story. Alright, so uh, we can try to increase our Horatio population, which we will do. Hook by hook or by crook. Uh, and then we build this crafted nutrition plant, and it gives us plus four food on Horatio on the- I'm assuming just on that system. We can get to 66 luxuries in, uh, in stock to get influence from Horatios, or build five ships of 59 defensive power to get industry from Horatios. Well, I mean, it kind of has to be that one, right? Lots of industry is always really good. I think it has to be this one. Prime must be desperate. I have heard that he is resorting to piracy. Whatever fleet he builds, I must be ready for it. For even if he is not subtle, he is as brilliant as I am. I would exactly as brilliant as I am. We're going for it. I want all that industry, man. Okay, so we're producing a probe every turn. We just gotta get lucky and find some dust. What have we discovered? Pulsos. Plus industry, plus five science on anomalies. Interesting. What would we get if we spliced them? Oh, they're not actually on one of my worlds yet. I can't see that. Okay. Let's just go ahead and dial that in. I know I'm gonna get that second. And we'll figure things out from there, once we have the basic stuff of an empire.
Okay, I was mistaken. We do not get a probe back every turn. Uh, what do we think? Ruins, ruins, atmospheric. Let's go for the ruins here. Okay. Slightly improved beam weapons. So beam weapons are powerful. No doubt about that. So I'm not in any big hurry to get our faction quest going, but obviously the earlier we can build that thing, the more effective it will be. Let's hold off on exploring the atmospheric one until last. Okay. That's a fine module. Doesn't really play into our strategies or anything, but... Oh, I totally didn't even take a skill point on this guy the first time. I guess it wouldn't have mattered, obviously. Uh, yeah, food and industry. Food and industry shall be our strategy. Alright, get me some science, and then it might be time to build ships. But these ships do not have enough defensive power. But, I mean, it won't take very much to fix that. Also, how is population growth going here? So what happens if we splice these dudes? Three science, one industry. And we could spend one Jadonix to improve this population's chance to increment. Because I would like to get some... Let's do it. Nope. We need to make a lot more food before that's uh, feasible. All right. Well, we'll get there. I want to get my splicing going like as quickly as possible here. Let's let's really beef up our base population type. Actually, what does our what does our base population type do? Three food, two approval on hot. Okay, so the academy's been discovered. We don't need to save this atmospheric thing anymore. We've discovered hostile fauna. Okay, this system is a real bummer, man. Now that we've cleared this all out, it's probably time to go ahead and uh, snap him to governing. Picked up a couple of quick levels. And you have a little bit of move left, so let's just pick a direction and go. We're making some dust now, so soon we'll be able to accelerate this a little bit. Now that we have our most basic buildings available, this is probably a good time to start researching the ability to expand our science, because our science is really important. Warp drive is a little bit less useful at the moment than it could be, or than it will be later, certainly. We first have eight planets colonized. Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. Yeah, let's head for let's head for high curiosity detection power. I do like to loot those curiosities as quickly as possible. We probably actually want to swap this in front. Alright, and our home system will be basically functional really soon. Right, let's speed that up by six turns. Definitely a good use of the money. Okay, nothing to search, unfortunately. Uh... Go this way. Once we have these basic buildings up, we can uh, we can make our crummy in initial ships for the quest. Because this should be pretty easy, right? Like all we have to do is attach an additional defensive module to this thing. Go like that. Yeah. Um, actually, though... Yeah, here we go. We 
Yeah, I guess we'll go slugs. Okay, I want to make a new one because I don't want to uh, overwrite our four probe exploration ship. And we'll probably never build another one of these, so. Uh, yeah, after we make the initial five here, we'll probably never build another one of those. We kind of need more scouts. I mean, I guess we're about to build more scouts, never mind. Yeah, we'll just run a big fleet of scouts and we'll explore the whole universe very quickly. Well, the whole galaxy. So we really need to step up our food so that we actually do have a chance of producing other factions. Welcome to the Safon. Ah, one of his ships has approached. So he's probably over here somewhere. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't really... Doesn't really affect our decision making in any way, I don't think. Okay, Pixis is worth exploring a little bit. What have we here? More Jadonics, okay. Which one is Jadonics? Jadonics is um, plus food per citizen, I think. So this is a really good first level system development thing. I like that. We're having some, uh, what I would categorize as good luck here so far. Let's get the food and industry going. Phoenix doesn't particularly need us to expand yet. Feels a little silly, but I mean, think of how much uh, think of how much coverage we'll get, man. Plus, building these ships over other ships, um, one of the values here is that your exploration ship gives scientist political impact, whereas actual combat ships give militarist. And uh, I don't really have a lot of value. I don't place a lot of value on having the militarists in power quickly. All right. So let's pick up a couple of techs real fast in this sector so that we can get our first level of system development because I really want to make Jadonic system improvements. Um, so we can go for this. Intergalactic Supermarket is a pretty powerful dust building in the early game when you don't have a lot of um, sources of stacking dust bonuses. And then like... Access to the market, maybe? Astro Finance is not bad. Atmospheric filtration leads easily to AI labor. And we do have some hot planets around us. Yeah, that might be the way to go. We're not going to actually have any use of the marketplace for a little while anyway, so. Alright, things always start slow. Yeah, plus, plus 10 food on the system is way more than plus 5% uh, percent food at this point. Yeah, we're still, still pretty low. What is this? Oh, okay. I've never seen that before because I've never done that before. All right, so we splice them, right? Yeah. I think that nukes our population a little bit on the home world, but... Look at how good these guys are now. Okay, and then for the next one we need four, so it's just going to go up by two every time, probably. That's cool. I'm down with that. Now, I don't particularly need the ecologist to be in power, right? It wouldn't be a bad thing if the scientists ended up in charge. Okay, somebody controls four star systems. That's a, a bit out of our reach yet. 
Can't be too upset about that. Okay, as always, there's no way we could withstand minus 15 industry at this point in the game. If it was later in the game, maybe? Hmm, no explorable anomalies. It looks like uh, it looks like this place maybe got explored partially already. There's a lot of stuff revealed. Also, there's Reavers. And a new minor faction, Mavros. Ooh, an industrial one. Howdy. Let's, uh, let's spend a lot of influence on praise. Let's get these guys contributing to the Empire quickly. Oh! We are not at money. We are not good at money right now. Shoot, okay, uh, loss. We gotta do the thing. We gotta do... Super Tax Act. Ah, that's not even gonna help. Shh. Huh. Well, it is what it is. So the industrialists have total support. Now, I'm a dictatorship or something, right? So that's not that great, because we're not going to end up having that many population types, probably because we're going to keep devouring them. Yeah, this is kind of not the right party for us, honestly. I can see, like, spreading out quickly in the early game. But these guys are going to win no matter what I do. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. That is not what the polling indicated. But... Oh, with this government type, the selected party wins and all others are ignored. <laughs> That's interesting. Okay, so we my hero got unassigned. That's helping with our bankruptcy, I guess. Also, unhappy people. What is going... Whoa, what is happening here? Why are we so unhappy? We have a bunch of stuff making us unhappy. Yeah, I guess that'll do it. This party wanted the pacifists really badly, and they didn't get it, so that's making them unhappy as well. We can seduce them. We can give plus 20 approval to the system by paying them off with some Jadonics. That's actually totally fine. I don't have a problem doing that. Okay, we're going to have to actually care about what our people think this time. It's going to be strange. We're going to stand and fight, even though this is not going to go that well for us, because I really want to reveal this curiosity, which will give us a little bit less, or a little bit more approval from the Mavros. Okay, that's not a great module. Bail out, go see the other minor faction. So I could just snap him back in. How much dust does he cost? Is there a way to see how much he'll actually cost us? No, it does not indicate. Well, I guess we leave him unequipped for the moment. Until we get our economy situation figured out. Now that we have industrialists in charge, though, we are getting paid every time we, uh... Let's fight. Yep, yeah, you're dead. I mean, him dying actually helped us a bit. Now, it says build five ships. Do I have to... I don't have to maintain all five of them at the same time, do I? I think it might be safe to send our guy out here and uh, try to explore and fight a little bit. I can't seduce them. They want the flowers, and I just don't have enough. I could suppress, which costs us manpower and 
lowers our approval, but I assume just makes the rebellion thing go away for a while. Uh, we probably don't need to do that. Maybe we need to do that. Yeah, let's let's try not to. What's our income rate on these things? Zero. Shit. Yeah, that's true. I don't I don't have the uh, planet colonized. Either of them. Okay. Well, I'm not really sure what my strategy is here. I'm in a, a little bit of a little bit of trouble. We would gain a significant amount of approval if I colonized the arid world. So our population likes hot worlds. I guess it's not a huge amount of approval, but it's, it's better than nothing. So let's praise these guys, get this rolling. Well, we're making money again. We can afford to stick him back on the job. There might have to be some brutal suppression. That is a thing that might have to happen. Okay, we're cordial with these guys now, so they're helping us out a little bit. Okay, we've discovered that your world is garbage. And also we found some Epistus. Uh, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take the chance to discover something over 75 dust right this second I think yeah if we were still like really hemorrhaging money I might go the other way on that but I think we're things are starting to get under control all right let's try to catch some of these reaver vessels out I think that would be a wise a wise move but things are definitely not going all that well here Because if we can catch the Reavers alone, like one of them at a time, we can totally beat them with two of our dumb quest ships. How many turns are we looking at here? Five more. Think of how productive our empire is about to be. We just need to get basic industry up everywhere. Oh, that's not one of the Reaver ships. That's the population point that we found. Alright, these guys are going to be giving us more loot in two turns. I guess let's keep searching. I'm definitely a little concerned. We gotta get our population under control. Uh, Phoenix is the home system. I think we have to destroy the mind control helmet. Uh, I think we could really use this approval. Although apparently it was not enough to push us out of unhappiness. Ah, I was close, man. And as much as I don't like to build galactic supermarkets because they're very expensive, upkeep-wise, uh, for how early in the game you get them, I think we're going to actually need it. Like, need in the hunter-gatherer sense of that word. We will die if we do not get these supermarkets. Alright, probably a lot of these curiosities have been searched by the, uh, the SoFuns already. I'm not sure if I want to keep pushing this way. I'm a little afraid that we're going to enter self on space and they're going to be mad. 
Okay, apparently somebody else was suzerain of these guys. I don't know how that happened so quickly. Yeah, that seems really good to me. I think that's definitely the way we want to go with our first system upgrade. So now the question is, how are we going to get happy? We don't get access to any more approval buildings until here, I think. It's not really a lot I can do about it. I mean, we actually have... We have a building coming that will solve the problem, right? Well, maybe let's pick up predictive logistics. I mean, glorification of the gorgeous is a fine improvement. Let's go ahead and pick this up. It's going to be a minute. I might be better off pushing up science. Actually, ATEX systems is a good idea, and because it's in an earlier tech tier, it will take a lot less time for us to research it. Yeah, so that's a, that's a faster way of solving our approval problem. Unfortunately, at this point, I think we're going to have to put these guys down. Yeah, I don't love this. That didn't really buy me a lot of time. That's a bad option. Don't suppress the rebellion with force. Okay, good to know for the future. I'm gonna pull my dudes back a little bit. I know we're going to upset the Sophons pretty soon, so let's try to try to get back here. Okay, we did it. You arm yourself, Prime. As if somehow it was you, not I, who was the leader of this gorgeous empire. Has the loss of your throne driven you made? Driven you made? Oh, there's actual like full new text here. Yeah, this is this is actually chapter two. We're getting through this story quest awfully quickly. I could never have guessed how good it feels to be emperor. If I'm having a bad day, I simply stand on the balcony and let the throngs cheer at me. There is nothing more fulfilling than the sound of mindless adulation. There's a lot of uh, small typos in this quest. Prime was correct. In spite of his flaws, I see that now. To cover the galaxy with Horatio, with me, is a destiny that both I and the galaxy well deserve. The planets remade into Horatio Prime, the peoples absorbed and adapted, beatified and perfected until they resemble me. It's prob that is probably supposed to be beautified. It is a glorious future I give them. The only hitch, however, are five and prime. They must be found and then destroyed? Ruined? Imprisoned? I will have to decide. But the thought of my enemies kneeling in chains before me almost makes me giddy. Their pleas for mercy may even be more agreeable to my ears than the affection of the throngs. I cannot wait to find out. You arm yourself, Prime, yet and stuff. So, okay. Destroy all of Horatio Prime's, Prime's fleets that are trying to steal my galaxy, and I will receive the Museum of Manual Efforts. Wow, really? It's just going to give all of my... Because this is an empire improvement. This isn't, some, isn't something I have to build. It's just going to give me 25 industry everywhere? That seems awfully good. All right, where are the where are the dudes? Uh, everybody, come back home. We gotta we gotta squad up here. Oh, you can't turn around. You can't issue a turnaround order when your destination is not known. Oh hi. Hey guys, how you doing? Oh good, Sophons. Uh, now these are actual combat ships. Let us retreat. head back we want to gather up here so this uh, Phoenix problem is very serious and we've made it much worse by trying to use force yeah I don't know man I don't know exactly what uh, what having a rebellion means from a mechanical standpoint, but I know I'm not going to like it. 
Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to buy this out fast enough either. What on earth? How is that an upper? I guess it's like a little ASCII dude with his... I don't know. Can I re-suppress? I mean... That's not going to be a good idea. We kind of just have to ride out the current suppression. Why is everybody so miserable all the time? You got good planets? You're about to have some supermarkets and stuff? That's pretty cool. Don't they know about the supermarket we're building? Alright, so we've unlocked a new tier of stuff here. We could get basic terraforming. You know what? World type does factor into the approval of your citizens, so that might be a good idea. We can also pick this up. This will let us bust off some of the negative anomaly effects, which may be, uh, may be sufficient to keep us happy. And it also reveals wormholes, which I would actually like to do this early in the game. It's also incredibly expensive. Wow! 22 turns. Man. That... That really sucks. Well, shoot. What are we going to research? So let us explore more stuff. And it's a little cheaper because we have a, uh, a feeder tech for it. Yeah, I don't know. Let's do this in the hopes that some of our uh, new curiosities can help us fix things. Alright, so what is the mechanical meaning of an uprising? We are, we are having an uprising now. Don't suppose. I mean, we can do this. This gives a little bit of approval. Okay, the uprising is gone now. We fixed it. And not a moment too soon. Alright, uh, actually, let's put this in front of the colony. Let's try to get our, get our production going. You're at 30% now. That's a little close. Let's go ahead and build supermarkets here as well. Our dust situation has been partially resolved. We can send out some probes here. Let's just shoot this one over there. Alright, so we gotta catch Horatio Prime's navies. We also need to keep expanding. Um, but that had to wait until we had stabilized our approval a little bit. So yeah, here come those guys. Let's get in defense mode. What did I discover? Success! Plus 10 dust per on systems on Empire for 15 turns. Okay, it's not a lot of value, but it's something. Uh, he is inhabiting stuff. He's pushing on us pretty hard. We probably want to make sure we get Canis. You know what they are always saying? Uh, Carpe Canis. It's a very common phrase that people use all the time to express how important it is that you seize the dog. Hey, Reavers, what's going on? Please stop that forever. Alright. Here comes the Horatio Quest Small Attacker, one of the most feared ships in the galaxy. I don't know if we're going to be able to take it on with four scout ships. I might have to build actual warships for this. I mean, we have a numbers advantage, right? It's pretty significant. 
Okay, we've got our beautifier. Let's build this before the intergalactic supermarket. Oh, hey. Five. I had enough of you. Okay, unfortunately, we're... Yeah, he's, he's using the type of attack we're not defended against, and he's defended against the type of attack we're making. So that is really crappy. Yeah, we're going to have to make actual ships, probably. Fine. Science and pacifism. The only options that make sense. Or at least that maybe was the case. Before all this garbage happened. Alright, these guys will get to... We have to praise them twice to get them to 75. I will definitely take a... Uh, take an assimilate if one is offered. We have two Zvali now. Uh, I mean, just fight, right? Like, these ships aren't going to be of any value to us no matter what, so we may as well do some damage. Not very much. Yeah, there's too many, too many Reavers for me not to, uh, not to build real ships, unfortunately. nervous. What are you up to? Hey, how are we going to be good neighbors if we're not neighbors at all? And the damn Kurhans are always throwing temper tantrums. It's always got to be some kind of big thing with you guys. Settle down and go shopping. We discovered Bilgeli. A hospitable, if dry, planet, rich in natural resources, Bilgeli served as base for the endless research stations that were built in its orbit. One of them in particular, Letum, has a fairly legitimate claim as being the first place in endless history where the science of virtualization was perfected. For better or for worse, this fact has given it an important role in the mythos of the endless civilization. We always find these unique planets uh, already being inhabited by somebody else. It's very disappointing. Generate 97 science per turn in one of your systems within the next 14 turns. The Mavros hold a deep belief that a great catastrophe is soon to wreak havoc on their homeworld. The nature of this catastrophe is unclear and they refuse to enter into any dialogue as to its origin. What they ask from you is to give them adequate engineering expertise so they might survive the catastrophe in the vast subterranean halls they want to build. Okay, well. I suppose we shall. How close am I to having written four per turn, so we need another another four turns before we can build the system improvement there. Once we have this thing, this uh, this system will be extremely productive. Oh hey, I finished the ship design. Okay, so let's... Weapon. Hey, that's a good name for an offensive ship. So they have... Projectile shields. And energy weapons. So we'll just counter them completely. I doubt they have the ability to uh, change their gear. I'd really like to get Artisanal Excellence done. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until it's done. Uh, we're going to be able to produce the uh, ships pretty quickly. Yeah. 
Yeah, I support the scientist party. Why wouldn't I? Man, our polling is garbage. It's kind of neat to be able to just pick which of the uh, automatic laws you want, though. So this allows us to research stuff from the next stage up. Uh, it's not that good, frankly. What's up? Uh, yeah, sure, fine. Try in vain to keep them from having a successful blockade. Because it's going to make Canis take longer to settle. What is this? Who dares? I have no idea who this player is, but I don't like it. Yeah, we may uh, we may have to engage in some warfare here. I was going to try to play another peaceful game. But apparently things are going to have to be the way they're going to have to be. Okay, so... What is our science right now? 53? We had to get it to 97. That actually seems very unlikely. This will give us plus science on worlds with anomalies and a little bit on other worlds. I guess that's something. Getting rid of this would help. We might not be able to get this, though. I don't think we can get to 97 quickly enough. Well, this, uh, this is strange. There's some weird stuff happening on this one's face. What are you? This guy could definitely help with our science. We're gonna need some. You are a militarist counselor? Yeah, I think we should bring in the scientists, probably. What do you socials have? Approval... Food and industry. Yeah, it's not horrible. I think I want the science ratio, though. Now the question is, do we assign this new dude to Kurha? Which has a pretty poor science output. Actually, it's not that different. It's about to have magnetic shield uh, field generators up. Yeah, okay. I don't think we're much less likely to be able to uh, <clears throat> push this system than we were to push the other one. Let's just go ahead and take some science boost. If we get the other level of that science trait, we get this done. Let's go ahead and uh, set this up as well. How many turns do I have left? Ten turns? Actually, I think we're going to get it. That hero showing up really saved us. I still don't know who this is. Okay, Riled Researchers has ended. That's a shame. I was using that industry. Okay, and our research finished. What are you up to? Yeah, we're we're all listen, we're all friends here. Buddy, man, guy. Uh let's grab this ruin research and then make some ships. Okay, we can rush one ship out. But once we have a group of four proper attacking ships that are specialized to defeat Horatio Prime and five, the traitorous dogs, uh then I guess we'll be ready to move our faction quest along. I don't know that that's really the most important thing. Certainly an important thing. 
I guess we could just push along science a little further. Yeah, our science per our science output is already so much higher. Let's get wormholes. Uh, that will aid in our exploration tremendously. And then once we've done that, I don't even know what. Okay. The completion of all of this industry stuff has dramatically accelerated our ship timeline. That's going to help a little bit, too. Oh, hey, we got there without even having to uh, get the other level of our of our hero. Okay, and in two turns we'll be able to get their quest. Yeah, you know, we're, uh, we're expanding quickly. That's usually a good sign. We discovered improved high eye plating. Okay, not bad. Gives fleet XP for absorbed damage, that's cool. We've discovered some Kalgaros. We have enough Mavros. We could just splice these guys out. And end up with even more industry. I'm gonna do it. Splice them. I don't need those guys. Hey, where'd all those Mavros go? I don't know what you're talking about. That system's not next to you. you big baby. Or is he talking about this system again? Because that would be strange. Okay, well we've got our people under control now. Things seem to be going more smoothly. Should probably colonize this world afterwards so we can get access to the uh, the flowers. All right, that'll happen on its own. It always does. Okay, so do we want? Honestly, like a random technology is not a bad play here. Our level of science output is still pretty low. We could get lucky with this and like win a dozen turns of science or something. How's our approval levels? Will the ten approval make a big difference? Mm, it might. It'll push Kerha up to content, I think. Yeah, I guess we'll do this. We will respect the dead of this alien race. And hopefully that will chill my people the hell out a little bit. Okay, uh... Is there a particular reason that we want to that we would want to build this on the home world? Or is it okay to just put it up here? Hmm. We need adaptive bureaucracies. Where is that? It's here. Let's do that. Two turns until we have these out. I might start building that uh, unique improvement here. Okay, friendly with the Calgaros. Let's see what they want. Create a ship with 60 offensive power and bring it to them. Uh, these ships have 60 offensive power, right? They do not, in fact. Okay, well, well, we'll figure that out. I think we probably have a little bit of time. We could just build another ship here. Actually, let's build a beautifier. Because this system could really stand to be inhabited. Actually, Pixis as well. Pixis is antimatter. Okay, then we can expand over Kerha a little bit more. Give ourselves some room to grow. There's something interesting going on on this world. Yep, probably industry. Especially, um... 
Especially in this system, because we actually have hot worlds. Although we need to figure out how to colonize this one. Alright, so now we have a fleet of ships that should be able to fight Horatio Prime. I'm gonna actually have them stay put, though, for the moment. Because I think these guys are going to get to Oyera and then turn around. Oh, actually, they might go to Jaya. Yeah, shoot, I wasn't... Okay, no, they turned around. Alright, so we'll let them come to us. We will brutalize them. Should be fairly straightforward. So I guess the question is, do I want Pixis? Which world is the antimatter on? Is it the one I can colonize? No, it is not. The colonizable world is pretty cool, though. The 17,000 Islands Bridge. Oh, that's neat. Yeah, I would not expect anybody to steal this. Or this, frankly. Get some more of our luxuries going. And Oyera has a lot more growth potential. Yeah, okay. Let's go to Oyera first. We should really get them both relatively quickly. So actually, give me another beautifier before you expand. We're going to have to meet this red player properly here. Okay, my weapons are best used at long range. Alright, a thorough smashing. Let's head to Canis next. So the other fleet's right here. I don't know exactly where they're going to go. But Canis seems like a strong possibility. Alright, and then we do need this. We still are actually in kind of a bad place, uh, money-wise. Uh, strategic resources. Minus system development cost actually might be good. Yeah, that's a whole turn of luxuries that we're saving every time we do it, so that's that's probably worthwhile. Alright, so Canis is still level 1. We'll make this level 2 first, because it, uh, it benefits slightly more due to having 2 population. <laughs> the hive cares a little. Okay, green is the Craver. He is somewhere down here, probably. I was a little nervous that red was going to be Cravers, because that would have meant, uh, that would have meant trouble really soon. Hmm, I don't know what he's doing. I don't think I want to rush anything. Let's hold on to our money for a little while. Actually, we're going to need to accelerate the colonies anyway. Okay, so we have, we have this done. We can see wormholes. We need one more tech of this tier to be able to uh, see all of the curiosity-related luxuries. So, we can pick up compact warp methods. We have a couple of uh, worlds available with moons already. We have graviton research, which is a lot of science. Colonize Arctic. We have... No, that's a snow world. Do we have Arctic worlds anywhere? Ice, cold gas. That's not going to work. That's a much warmer star. So the answer is no, then, I guess. 
Yeah, as things stand right now, this does not give me access to even one additional world. You know what? Let's uh, let's do this. Let's make our moons really good. We have a couple of systems where we have access to moons, or at least uh, we'll soon have access to moons. The Zvali are growing, but they're growing a little bit slowly. Put down quickly before you get attacked by the Reavers. Okay. Actions threaten the hive. It seems to me that the Craver AI maybe gets into uh, gets into things over its head a little bit sometimes. Uh, yeah, go ahead and accelerate this. Let's, let's try to get this done. I guess we have to go hunt them down. I don't know why. I would have thought from the quest text that they would be quite aggressive, but this is the, uh, the world we live in. So, for this quest, we have to be 60 offensive power. Can I... I'm curious if I can even do that right now. What if I made a ship using my upgraded weapons? Yeah, that would do it. Well, I don't really want to switch to just beam weapons. I don't like this uh, close or nothing strategy. But we can make one for the purpose of the quest. I guess it needs to have an engine, but it doesn't really need to have any other parts. Uh, quest ship 2. Alright, that'll make that as cheap as possible. Give me one of those, we'll go take Ward in with it real fast. I don't remember, do I get to keep it or do they take it from me? I don't remember what happened when we did this last time. You're making the Saphonity nervous. I'm making them nervous by being too not aggressive. Yeah, I don't know what is going on with Horatio Prime. He's a coward. I guess I do know what's going on. It's that he's a coward. Alright, we have to get our money under control, actually. Things are getting a little harsh. And Super Tax Act is actually active right now. Uh, how do we fix this? This has to get done faster. How do we bring down expenditures? I mean, is there anything I can do, really? And if I assimilate these guys now, I will lose 72 dust per turn. Uh, okay, so we need to not do that just yet. I'm going to have this ship run to Gia instead. And after we finish this building, we can, uh... You're making the Saphonity nervous. We are not settling anywhere near you. Go away. Oh, no. Ah, crap. That's not good. I could have sworn I had already right-clicked. Uh, shoot. So we definitely can't afford to buff Pixis. Can I... Recall my support of Oyera? I want my dust back. Nope. Yeah, well... Nothing to be done now, I guess. I can't. I actually can't do anything that will help. I could sell some ships, maybe? Is that a thing? Oh, they gave me 150 dust, though. That'll buy us some time. Let's 
Excuse me? Who do you think you are? I'll take those resources, thank you very much. Alright, I think they're coming this way. I think they bounced off of Thea and are headed back. I can't believe that it's so difficult to complete this quest. How close are we on this? Okay, we're up to seven per turn. That's pretty good. Uh, so we've accumulated a bunch of new traits. Okay, ship costs down. Minus system development luxury costs. Every time you assimilate a minor faction, you get their dominant traits, so that's helpful. Really? The ecologist party is in the lead. Huh. How'd that happen? How'd they get unanimous approval? You know what? I think the game's messing with me. I think there's something I don't understand about the polling mechanics, because all of the polling is super wrong all the time. Oh, that's true. We did pick up a ton of Calgaros. We can just add three approval to Horatio. I mean, I do it, right? Like, I'm dropping... This is like a third of my empire's population. I think maybe I have to wait a little bit on this one. We have to get ourselves sort of settled up first. Ah, yes, they're coming right to us. The fools. Yeah, so we're going to finish this right after we run out of money. And honestly, this thing's not going to solve it by itself anyway. Hmm. Well, that's not very good. Um... Yeah, we're about to be in some trouble, man. Monetarily. Oh wow, I guess one of our uh, one of our support ships must have reached the planet that turn. Okay, hold on, I'll deal with you in a second. You, you are. Uh... Huh. I wonder why he's so damaged. He must have lost some fights with the Sophons or something. Okay, so we've gained industry on all systems. And this is a good time for that, too. Ooh. Alas for five, his talent was insufficient for his ambition. How sad to see one so beautiful fall so quickly. I suppose an analogy to cherry blossoms might be appropriate. But I am feeling charged with power and energy, not sentiment and frailty. Five has been brought down. That is all that needs to be said. Like Prime before him, those who dare to challenge the most capable of all Horatios are destined to fail. Now we shall turn our efforts to a more important thing, the glorious vision unveiled by Prime that seems so very fitting for this ugly gray universe. We shall cover it with the beauty of Horatio planets, Horatio architecture, and Horatio citizens. The gods themselves will look down upon the empire we create and become jealous. So, power... We could reach 67 influence per turn, or glory, own three systems of level three. But we don't get to see the rewards of this ahead of time. We've been pursuing a pretty industrial path so far. And it's not that hard to do this. Do I, do I have any research toward that already? No, I'd have to do three tacks in order to get that. But it's going to be way more than three tacks to get, um, to get the influence going. So I say let's go for glory. Ambition is important, but insufficient, as Five learned. We must have the means to apply it. The systems under our rule need to thrive and grow until they can unleash their populations. Only then can we begin the arduous holy task of horatification. <laughs> horatification. Alright. Okay. Uh, we are only good at short range. Let's go short range. I don't. This ship doesn't need to live anymore. I don't care what happens here. Well, what happens here is apparently we don't take any damage at all. Weird. I'll take it. Okay, you guys need to come home. Stop bothering those poor Sophons. 
All right, so we're about to gain 50 dust from system level plus another 24 per citizen. It's not going to fix our dust problem. Uh, it's not going to get us even close. Splicing is also not going to fix all of our problems, if you can believe it. Yes, Moonbase Alpha. We can explore these binaries. Currently they're giving us a population slot, but they could be giving us so much more. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do here. I mean, I guess what we're going to do is go research money. Trade companies. That's a good way to make money. Okay, New World needs some help. How about we build the thing that gives dust? The one thing that we know how to build that does that. Can we rearrange our population to be more dust? I mean, population on this planet gives us more dust than population on the other planets. Why am I at... Minus 70 dust from star system improvement? Wow, I'm really paying that much in upkeep. Yeah, I guess so. The Artisanal Excellence Museum is expensive. Alright, I'm probably going to have to unequip this guy for a while. I mean, the game will do that for me, right? Let's see what steps it takes to correct things. Scraps the ship and refunds two dust. But he is five dust upkeep. It's going to disband my armies. I mean, probably it's going to disband my armies. Let's find out. Let's find out what it's going to do. I honestly have no idea. Okay, yep, it definitely scrapped some of my ships. It unequipped our dudes, it scrapped one of my buildings, two of my buildings, one of them expensive. But that's what it takes. We need money. We also need... Some of this. We need to be able to actually pull our Hyperion. Okay, Karhal wants Jadonics. It's down to 0%. Minus 50 from planet. From planet, you say? Yeah, this planet type is a big bummer. So we can terraform it to Arctic. We lose a bunch of science. But we gain everything else, pretty much. If we fix the fauna, that would cut 10 disapproval. We need to solve this problem, too, but unfortunately, that's a much higher level tech. Honestly, things just aren't going that well. I mean, some things are going okay. Can't scrap these. <clears throat> that would certainly help. Uh, so all of our heroes are unequipped now. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other ways we can make money. Also, a Calgaro starved to death. So that's not great. All right. I don't want to build anything that has a high upkeep cost. We really need five uh, material. Yeah. Here. Five things. What? Nobody has any to trade us. So I guess plasma metallurgy is going to be our way to get it, but that is going to be a little bit slow, I think. Are we on the world in Oyera that has it? We are. That's three per turn. And then in Canis, also we are. So we'll get. 
We'll get it in one turn of mining. But uh, I don't know how we're going to make... Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do. We could start building an improvement that is going to take a long time to complete. But that will be valuable when we get there. Specialization doesn't have any... Uh, any cost, I guess. You know what, let's do science instead. Alright, let's see if we can indeed balance our books a little. Bad stuff's happening, we're losing, we're losing things all over the place. Scrap this ship. In Phoenix, what, what does Phoenix's output look like right now? So we don't have either of the sides of this completed already. Do we want to save the inhabitants or save the core? Saving the core gives us attack. I know that. Let's go for saving the core. Okay, this is... There is no way for me to predict what we're going to be looking at in 20 turns. Uh, I don't know. Start working on this, I guess. Actually, colonize this world. That's the thing that's worth doing. Alright, things are mostly under control now. My people fake polled in uh, favor of the ecologists. I'm going to select these dudes. Nope, this time the polling was actually right-ish. Not actually right. Because it's not 100%, but... I don't know, man. Mostly I wanted a thing that could give us some extra resources. If we can uh, manage to talk the Sofans into peace. Uh, this seems really bad. Also, there's no cheating in our elections anyway. Okay, so next turn we'll be able to start building this. This will be helpful. This is something that will provide some dust and some other stuff. For now... And for now we can stand to rebuild some of the stuff we've lost. Yeah, this is a mess, though, man. <laughs> you know, this is good, though. It's good for us to learn how to uh, how to cope with problems. So Kurha is going to need to be seduced. How far below zero are we? We have plus 64, minus 74. So plus 20 is only going to get us to 10, which won't solve the problem. So this is going to have to become top priority. And then we also seduce the turn before it finishes. I think that'll work. Let's grab this reaver ship as it comes by. Colonize some worlds, that's a thing you can do that doesn't cost us anything, but we'll eventually have some payout. Yeah, we're not off to a roaring start exactly. You're making the Sophonity nervous. I think he was threatening us and asking us for a payoff. Pirates. I'm not afraid of pirates. Sort of. I'm sort of not afraid of pirates.
my amount of money is jumping back and forth completely erratically. All right, let's go. Yeah. Why are you knocking around? Because we need peace. Oh. I'll um, give you lots of Horatios. What? You don't want a ton of Horatios, really? We gotta find something he responds to here. Okay. That fixes a bunch of our problems, actually. A smart decision. We've Yeah, this pacifist law right thing rule is extremely powerful. I like it a lot. Ah, uh, it is less good when we're not a republic, though. Okay, we found some Hiroshims. That's cool, I guess. There's an imminent uprising. There sure is. You are not kidding. Actually, maybe this is a better thing to do with our resources. Takes fewer turns, doesn't have any upkeep, gives us a big approval boost for a little while. Alright, things are coming together a little bit. And once we have commercial frameworks, everything's going to be easier. Okay, we need to colonize this world. Alright, yeah, I'm a little nervous. Uh... Oh, that's true. We do have the dust to put our people back to work. Let's assign him first. I don't think we really can afford to assign both, but I, I really want to get some time off of the Endless Research Park. Hopefully this won't put us too far behind. Hey, how's it going? Alright, have three systems with only Horatio population to gain 80 influence or get to a high value of industry to get the same reward. Gia and Kurha. Gia's not so far off. Kurha's also not that far off. Did I really? I fed too much, uh, too much genetics into, uh, into system development. Well, I guess we're just gonna have a rebellion. Hey, you guys, why don't you, uh, go and get ready for that? I, I have no idea what this means. I mean, I guess at this point we can suppress it by a little time. It doesn't hurt us at all to do that. I know the episode's gotten super long. This this seems like it should be much easier. Um, I know this episode's gotten super long, but I didn't want to leave with uh, a tremendous amount of suspense over whether our empire is going to survive or not. It looks to me, though, like we're not going to be able to get to the other side of that anytime soon. Hey, look, we did it. We have an awful lot of systems. Yeah, I don't really know what can be done here. We certainly don't have any actual approval stuff that could get built, especially not in time. I think we're just going to have to suffer. Let's find out exactly how. Warden's going off, too. That's a good find, though. We just inhabited there. So... We really need access to the higher level pacifist laws. If we could get that law into place that gives approval your for your peace and alliances, that would be really, really helpful.
Your rebellious star systems increase the rebellion level of your empire. If maximum rebellion is reached, government will switch to a dictatorship, and the opposite political party of your current prime senator will be elected. We have got to get a better government. This government is a terrible. It would cost 1,200 influence to swap out. We go, we go for only, uh, we go to democracy for only 600. I think that's got to be a near-term goal. The dictatorship is not a good way to run things. All right, here comes that rebellion. Are they... Okay, it's a smattering of our ships. Aha! Creating a garbage ship design has actually probably been helpful. <laughs> now there's dumb garbage ships in their army <laughs> instead of just uh, instead of just real stuff. Would you look at that? Who would have thought? Uh, let's build some basic stuff. We're gonna need. Approval. Actually, let's do that. Okay, so it looks like an, uh, an uprising isn't even really that big of a deal. And for the most part, things are under control now. Well, maybe. We'll see. We're also at an hour and a half. I need to stop recording. I have things to do in life. So yeah, let's get to the end of this turn and we'll call it. Uh, it's been tense. It has been very tense. This is definitely the worst start so far. And it's probably entirely attributable to me being a little bit uh, overreaching, you know? So this would not be a bad place to build our trade company HQ, though. It's on one of the, one of the corners of our empire, so we can put, like, a subsidiary here and it has to move through... A fairly large number of systems. Yeah, that seems to be the, the right way to go. Alright, so we need to save up some influence so that we can change our government type, because our current government type is horrible. We should definitely get Neural Robotics, because we need glorification of the gorgeous. But, you know, we've managed to bounce out of a couple of types of frying pans into a couple of other types of fires. It seems to be fires all the way down. Every time we, uh, every time we get out of something, we get into something worse. Uh, but that is going to have to be it for today. Come back next time uh, for maybe just a little bit less Endless Space 2. And we'll see you then.